Bye. Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Sir Rahman, and in this video, I am planning to discuss the design specifications of a Morse code encoder. Made as a project for my digital circuit design course while studying electrical and electronics engineering at Bilkin University. Before we move on, let's first acquaint ourselves with what Morse code actually is. It is basically a method of telecommunication in which textual characters are encoded as a sequence of dots and dashes. This encoder was implemented on a basis 3 FPGA using the VHSIC hardware description language, commonly known as VHDL, using a keyboard as its primary input device. In a keyboard, each textual character present has a unique ASCII value assigned to it. However, the shortcoming of using a keyboard is that instead of outputting a 7-bit ASCII value, it uses a single bit data line to output the ASCII value as a sequence of highs and lows, posing a dire need for me to write a whole module which recognizes the event in this 1-bit signal and uses them to store the 7-bit ASCII value in a separate variable. Once the ASCII value is obtained, it is fed into the Morse code module of my project, which creates a, a one-bit signal whose highs and lows depend on the key pressed. This signal is fed out of the basis 3 FPGA using the P mods and is then added with a digital signal from a signal generator. The frequency of this signal is adjusted to be within the humanly audible frequency range. The output of the AND gate is then connected to a speaker, which generates the audio representation of the, of the desired MOS code. Furthermore, the encoder also involves displaying the Morse code visually using a VGA screen. This aspect of my project is put into effect using an image generation module, which lights up certain pixels on the screen to create a pattern of dots and dashes, as desired. Now, now to see if my encoder actually works like it was described, We'll, we'll test it for a few textual characters. Let's begin with the letter A. If I press A on the keyboard, I should hear a short beep followed by a slightly long beep, and the corresponding Morse code should be displayed on the VGA screen. As you guys saw, my, my my encoder worked perfectly fine for the letter A. So now let's test it for another character. For example, the character D. As you can see, if I press D, I should hear a long beep followed by two short beeps. And the Morse code dash dot dot should be displayed on the VGA monitor. Now to further check our encoder, let's test it for another character. For example, the letter R. When I press the letter R, I should hear a short beep, then a slightly longer beep, and then another short beep. And the corresponding Morse code will be displayed on the VGA screen. As you guys saw and heard, this, this demonstration corroborates the fact that my Morse code encoder works exactly as it was described. Bringing me to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching, goodbye.